Hey guys, it's Mel. Um, I just wanted to try to get in a quick video. Um, I have Talia over here right next to me in a swing. She, you okay? <laughs> um, so we'll see how long she cooperates. Um, I hope you're all doing well. There hasn't been much um, going on other than uh, baby, baby watching over here. Um, but hopefully you guys are into something exciting um, and enjoying your fall. I uh, I still have a banner I want to show you, but that's in their. Um, are you gonna sneeze? That's in their uh, in their room. Maya and Talia share a room, um, so it's above our crib. But I'll get to that at one point. So I haven't been doing much. Um, bless you. I haven't been doing much um, craft shopping, but um, I sold a few things on there. So um, I use part of that for bills and the other part for. Um, like a trade thing. So these are the two things that I got. Um, this was one of them that I thought was a pretty good deal. Um, it was 30 shipped, I think, and it came with this quick cuts binder, and it had all of these dies in it, which is, I believe, a quick cuts special delivery set, and there's even more besides what I'm showing you. So um, it comes with all of these in here, and I don't know if you can see the center one is like stitched circles. I, w I just wish that they had a couple bigger ones because I really want the ones. I've been eyeing up the ones at um, MFT. Sorry, I have you guys on my little um, ottoman thing for this chair that's moving. Um, I really want the ones from uh, my favorite things, but they're a little pricey, so I'm waiting um, for that. But um, the ones that have the stitch, because I think that makes a nice difference. And then I might trade in my other, you know, spellbinder ones. But these all make A2 size cards. So there's a scallop one. You can see the outside and see it gives you like the little perforated inside. Then it gives you like the layers. So here's one and here's another. And then same with this one. This is an A2 size scallop card. And then it gives you like the layers to fit in here. Um, it has these little mini fold over tags that have the perforated here and here. This is also a little tag. You can see the perforated and the dots. I don't know. There's probably a terrible glare in here with my window open. Then there's like this little flower one that's stitched. Um, and then there's this little fold over tab. So if you want to do like a, na a name plate. And then this one, this one, and this one all, you can't see it probably. But on the inside there's like a little perforated tab to use these as tabs. Then there's like a bird and some flowers. So it's like a really nice, I liked it even just for the binder for the storage. And then there's even more to this set. So there's this. You get all that, and then you get an alphabet. So um, here's the alphabet. And then so these, these three little pieces. So you get those three pieces. Then you get another one. This one just didn't fit in here. And again, this is the A2 with rounded corner. So there's this die, and it has see the perforated thing here. So if you just want a basic, and then it also has the where if you want to cut out another layer um, of the front on here, and then. A layered frame on the front. So all those dies came in the set for 30 shipped and it's pretty heavy with this little binder so I thought that was a great deal so I figured I'll use some of my um, some of my seller money you know from some of the things that I've sold to get rid of and I'm still trying to get rid of more I have a de-stash video on here and um, on the scrapyard. I still have plenty more to go through but it's a project so I've been slowly going through like I have a lot of doubles of things um, like stamps and stuff and then some of them are just I've used them and then I still like them but they're just I'm not going to use the same thing over and over I guess for certain things so that's what that was and then the only other thing I got which I'm kind of really excited for <laughs> um it was only oh and here's a picture I think the other side's cut off but like of the the font and the thing like see I, this would have been easier to show you it makes that fold over card and then the l different layers and stuff like that and then there's the stitched, the stitched thing here. Hey, yo. Um, she's getting antsy, so let me finish this one. Then I got this for $7 um, on the scrapyard, and it's Give Thanks by Ellie Edwards. I think this is an older one. It says 2011, but I don't know if that's just when this Technique Tuesday thing was about. Like, I don't know if they all say that or if this was actually from 2011. Either way, like you guys heard me say before, I don't care. I don't have to have, like, the new lines or whatever out if I like it. If I like it, I'll get it, um, and it'll be something I use, like, especially if it's a staple that I can use, like, every fall or every whatever. I don't have to have, like, just because it's a new line. Like, I like the old stuff. But anyway, so I'm guessing this is probably older. Um, so some of the things it says is gratitude is a memory of the heart. Um, this one here says so, so very thankful. 
Happy Thanksgiving. This one here says autumn. Um, boo, carving, apples, love that. Pumpkins, thankful, trick or treat, harvest, costumes, Halloween, give thanks, and this cute little um, pumpkin here. And um, a couple of the stamps were on there used, which doesn't bother me not one bit. Um, you can just, you know, I'm just going to stain them up with my ink, so I'll just add some ink to them so they'll get well loved. But these would be cute, I thought, even to make my own, like, little fall. Because I'm really getting into the scrapbooking because I got this baby over here. Um, getting into the um, pocket scrapbooking. I still like to do my one-page traditional because um, I like to still get, that's my way of getting artsy, we'll say. Um, and sometimes just doing the pocket ones, I feel like I'm cheating in a way. Um, like, it's just too easy. And I know that's the whole point, but I still like to do my artsy things or my little craft projects. But that's a way I'll add, incorporate, maybe get more pages done, but still do some artsy pages like the traditional scrapbooking in there. But I thought, anyway, I thought these would be cute to add like the carving, carving pumpkins or different things to the little, like if I make my own cards to go in there, so I'll just decorate the cards because then I'm still being artsy. And then I'm still doing the pocket, you know, to get some of my albums finished instead of them all laying around. So that's that there. So hope you, hopefully you guys are doing well and you, that you're, like I said, enjoying your fall or whatever you guys are into right now. I really miss, you know, being on here and doing my videos. So I'm glad she's staring right at me. She's probably like, Mom, because she hasn't seen me do too many of these videos. You'll see. Um, she's probably like, who are you talking to? So um, I hopefully soon as she's getting older and older, she's getting a little bit easier, little by little. Um, she's sleeping a little better at night, not always. Um, so it's a work in progress, but we're getting there. But she's she's a lot of fun, and um, Maya's getting along really good with her, and she's a big help for her. So oh, and thank you, Miss Lisa, Scrap and Pink Lady, for um, my card. Um, I have yet to I have to message you back. It's so I'm so terrible. Um, but for my baby card, she sent me a really cute card, and if it was close to me, I would show you guys. But anyway, if anybody has any questions, let me know, and I just want to check in with you all, and I hope you're all doing well, and leave me a message below, um, and if you have any questions about anything, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.